Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News Extra. And uh, we're reaching the time of year when um, it's not uncommon to see uh, some custom cars out on the road. And of course, the Scottsbluff Valley Street Rods has their Wild Brassica Auto Expo coming up. And joining me right now is Mike Minzy, the uh, club treasurer. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Scott. Uh, 34th annual. That's got to be kind of, well, not a record, but uh, kind of a neat it's, streak. Uh, it's a long streak. Uh, we've actually started in 1976. This is uh, actually... Uh, 43 years we've been doing this with a few years out when we couldn't. How has it changed over the years? Well, you know, it was uh, starting out as street rods, which is our, our cars made 48 and before. And, and as the years go by, uh, the uh, uh, the popular cars increase in age, uh, come on up. Right now mm-hmm. we're having a muscle car area of, uh, era from uh, the 60s. Uh, and as I say, at the beginning, it was mostly uh, street rods from the 30s. Okay. Now, uh, this comes up on the 27th. Um, uh, space, as you've said, is limited first come, first serve. Right. Uh, for somebody to take part in this, how do they do so? Well, I'd like to have them give a call to two contact people. Yeah. I could uh, leave that right now if I could. Sure. And that would be Steve Davison. Uh, his number is 307 401 0743 or JL Ewing. And uh, he's at 308 641 one two two seven and either one of those two can get anybody registered registration fee is twenty five dollars and our setup is uh anytime after 11 o'clock uh, in the morning on friday through the evening on friday for the saturday and sunday show yeah it's a two-day two-day event two so day affair. if you if you don't happen to make it out to see some of these really neat vehicles on a on saturday sunday is an option of course vice versa that that works <laughs> well you can come out both days if you like yeah yeah and, and uh, you'll see some really unique uh vehicles out there uh, some of which have been restored to the nines uh now with with some of these vehicles that are that are involved are are they are they custom, are they stock, or just running the gamut? The answer to that is yes, running the gamut. <laughs> uh, we have uh, uh, older cars, as the stocks. We have the street rods, street machines, um, pickups, uh, well, possibly competition. Uh, you just never know. And we'll, we uh, you know, take anything that, uh, that looks well and, and uh, enjoy having them. And, and we talked about registrations a little bit earlier. How, how many spaces do you have left as we're, you know, about a week away? Yeah, we have had as many as 100 in there. Uh, county motorcycles taking mm-hmm. up less space, of course. Sure. But uh, I, I uh, would suspect that we'll probably have in a neighborhood of uh, 50, we're hoping. Okay. And, yep. and hopefully a lot more than that because now yep. that the weather is finally turning nicer. <laughs> we have this weekend scheduled between blizzards, so we should be okay. <laughs> hopefully after all of yep. the blizzards, we right. don't have any more coming down the pipe. Uh, we'll be right back on News Extra with more with Mike about the uh, Scottsbluff Valley Street Rods Wild Brassica Auto Expo coming up on April 27th. And, and we'll we're back right on back. News Extra. My guest this morning, Mike Minzy, the treasurer for the Scottsbluff Valley Street Rods. We have the Wild Brassica Auto Expo coming up on the 27th and 28th at the Mitchell Events Center. Something like this just doesn't happen in a vacuum, Mike. Um, you have to have sponsors that, that help out uh, with, with something like that. And, and who are they this year? Yeah, we certainly do. And we really appreciate our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't have a show. And if I could uh, name our big ones there right, right off, it's sure. Ron's Towing Service out of Scotts Bluff. And then we have a number of sponsors from Torrington. And it's Travis Auto Body, and Regi- Auto Body Paint and Restoration, Cool Customs Body and Paint, Trans West Ford, Valley Motor Supply, Torrington Engine Machine, DJ Bicycle Repair, and Torrington Treads. And then, of course, we cannot forget KNEB, the brand. <laughs> That's right. We can't forget them. No. Uh, with, uh, with the evolution as we've gone over time with, with you know, I, I, I would assume it started out just with cars. Started out with cars. And, and then has, has started to evolve a little bit more and, and evolve, you know, involve trucks and then motorcycles. Mm-hmm. Um Anything else that you might think that might come down the pipe in the future that, that might become a quote-unquote classic? Oh, boy, that's kind of hard to predict. You never know. Uh, I know 20 years ago everybody talked about the econo boxes of the 80s and 90s, and nothing would ever come out of that as a classic vehicle, and there are a few now. But, uh, yeah, it, it, time time will tell, I guess, as to what will be popular in the future. And and how rare some of these uh, rare, vehicles yeah. will be in the future as far as any leftover ones that are that's intact, true. still running, uh, <laughs> or restorable. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's something that people uh, need to understand, too. There, there will be a fair number of restorations that are there. There will be, and they also will not be from this er- uh, strictly from this area. Yeah, uh, we get them from uh, usually from uh, Nebraska, Wyoming, uh, South Dakota, and Colorado. 
uh, a few from the outlying areas, of course, but uh, uh, and, and it's a different uh, different run every year. Uh, there are some cars, of course, that are here year after year. They enjoy it. It works out well. They're back. But then we have new ones every year. You know, there's going to be some, and people are always working on their cars over the winter and. And uh, there'll be a new one come out that wasn't uh, wasn't on the road a year ago. Sure. Now, with the registrations we were talking about earlier, will you take those all the way right up to the event? We will. Okay. We will. Right up to the event. We do open at 9 o'clock on Saturday, and after that, everything is set. And that's why we want everybody to uh, register and get their vehicles in there on Friday and for, so that we're ready to go Saturday morning. Sure. And for those that are going to attend and want to see these these really the, pieces of art in some cases we're all set for spectators and uh, but there is a five dollar charge yeah. on there for adults and then kids uh, from five to eleven is are two dollars and below that is no cost then of course along with that for our spectators we're having a 50 50 raffle there's okay. concessions on site by, by pineapple express and their famous asian taco and mm-hmm. so on so <laughs> that is going to be the wild Brasca auto expo coming up uh april 27th and 28th at the mitchell events center there in mitchell saturday starting at nine o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night sunday from 10 a.m until four in the afternoon five dollars for adults two dollars for those five to eleven years old five and under of course are free and uh, that's the scotts wolf valley street rods it's going to be a fantastic time mike it's going to be a really good time we really hope to see a lot of knb knb listeners out there and you know we really appreciate this opportunity scott to be able to get our word out well thank you for joining us today okay thank you scott